know why you're feeling weak for us. <laughs> well, because we're going to your swamp. We're going far, far away. guys uh, good morning today we're actually at the opening day of the Texas Renaissance Fair which is the biggest the largest and the best Renaissance Fair in the world of North America so come join us see what we can get into it's our first experience uh, I do want to say something don't come after us the outfits that we got are, are from Spirit Halloween don't tell nobody so this is actually our very first time at the Renaissance Festival and we actually just plan to come here the last minute we saw a billboard as we were driving back home from one of our other events and we were just like, let's do it. And we did our research not knowing it was three hours away. So we're here and let's see what we're getting into. Cool. Wow. Mail. Could tell a tiger he's trying to look for Harry. Well, the spot is the need to. <laughs> mead, never had mead before. It tastes really good like sweet honey, like wine. It's freaking delicious. I was gonna get the freaking um, the bottle, it's a long, a long bottle. And I told him, Well, they give me trash. He's like, Let me get you a cup. So, got a cup instead. The festival even required us to have insurance this year. That insurance runs out next weekend. Yeah, so we just watched the um, Tartanic. The Tartanic, the bagpipe show. Yeah. I just love how everyone's so nice. Everything is calm, relaxed. So I'm a free, peasant. So free feeling. Hunchback of Notre Dame was here. Mm -hmm. Hagrid? We saw freaking Hagrid's McGonagall. And Professor McGonagall, yeah. What the heck? And, Ho and Hocus Pocus. And Hocus Pocus? Uh huh. And Zenitsu? Yeah. Man, it's literally for everybody. So Aaliyah, or Puss, is in the litter box right now. I went to the bathroom, and what's really cool is that the urinals are, some of them are partitioned, so they have like a little wall in between them. I've never seen that ever, so that was pretty cool if you're one of those shy people. I don't really care. If there's one open, I have to go, I have to go, so. But that was really cool. 
a steak on the steak on a steak. It's really well seasoned. It's a tad bit salty, but I like that, especially out here where it's not too hot, but it's just adds to that savoriness, rustic type meal, I guess. Just straight protein. It's good. I must get. Donkey, what are you doing over here? I keep thinking I'm Shrek, just a mere peasant. But I forgot I married you, Fiona. You're now Lord Shrek. So what do you have here? the Polish kielbasa on a stick. They also have a plate, which I think they had it like in a big giant roll with like onions and peppers and stuff. So good. Is that good? Let me see. So I never knew that you could eat kielbasa with like other stuff, like condiments. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh. It's, it's pure got protein. All right, the skin has a really good snap. Smoky, peppery, not a lot of salt. The salt is naturally coming from the kielbasa sausage itself. This is amazing. And it's medieval times price. It's not, it's medieval times price. It's really good. Be careful with the meat, guys. This is kicking in pretty hard. So we're gonna go joust or watch joust. So we're walking around and we see that they have um, an escape room. And we're like, what if you really can't escape and they hold you here till like midnight the next night? But that's not the kicker. The kicker is that you have to pay for the next day ticket. That's not fair, right? Am I right? Museum of Cruelty. That would be fun. He threw food at her. You know how to set him up? Shut up, you wench. <laughs> but he's not a wench. Now we all know what single depressed women look like. Oh. Okay, we have to, we have to do this. Oh my gosh, 20? $5 for each, for three throws, $20 for a bucket of tomatoes. Takes her longer to come up with the stuff, I guess. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> uh, no winch was wet on this day. He's got some clapbacks, right? They're brutal. Yeah, clapbacks like, are brutal. Winch, yeah, the winch was a little soft, but this guy has no chill. He's talking about the dirty dip. Yeah, this guy has no chill. I don't know where we are, but... <laughs> We've yet to find the jousting. We, keep we got too distracted with these snarky remarks. <sighs> yeah, then they had to switch over the winch and then... The guy's still going hard. He, I haven't seen him get like actually hit yet. No, he's going hard. Yeah, very close though. And that poor guy that's cleaning him up, I think he's getting <laughs> hit unintentionally. So that's the best way I can describe mead. If you like the Moscato wine, it kind of tastes like that without the uh, carbonation. Yeah. And a little more honey. Yeah. It's phenomenal, I love it. A little more rich. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on the garden? I think it's really peaceful back here. It kind of reminds me of the vibe of the Arboretum, like just very secluded. Everyone's back here just like in their little areas on the benches, relaxing. It's quieter back here. So I like it. The artwork is very beautiful too. So like what you said, it's very uh, calming, it's peaceful. It's kind of packed too. Like it's like everybody just somehow just gravitated to this area. So you can't really stay in one spot because it's like, give it like 10 seconds and it just gets full of people. Yeah. But it's it's different. It's almost like godly type, like mm -hmm. religious type because they have uh, elephants. It doesn't really say anything. There's like no, un unless there is, you know, like little um, tablets that say what the things are. I haven't seen anything, have you? No, I haven't seen so, anything. So, but they're like everywhere. I mean, they, they look nice. So, it's cool. I like it, peaceful. It's way different than what I would expect being Completely out here, though. Completely different, yes. That was interesting. So, I love true crime documentaries, but that was, like, gruesome. I did record some of the stuff, but you know, out of respect to viewers, and pretty freaking bad just to let your mind, you know, roam around. It was pretty bad. I didn't want to include that in there. So I did take as much as I could, you know, things that, you know, you would expect, which is not as gruesome. Wow. The medieval times were bad. Like, if you did something bad, you were... Damn. This is torture. That's torture right there. So we're also on this quest to find fish and chips. I mean, we finally found the jowls, but... The tail end of it. I know. Now we still have a couple hours until the the next one. The next show. So some snacks and drinks. And fish and chips. You guys like to see an impersonation? I'm about to do an impersonation. It's gonna happen any second now. I just feel it. Give me a dollar! <laughs> Sir, a beef. There's two other people who are in the same costume <laughs> as me. Hey man, Halloween City's like right outside. <laughs> but they're wearing it like the package shows. I'm but no, not... you are Princess Fiona yeah. from far, far away. <laughs> I literally had to like <laughs> wear it differently to be Princess Fiona. <laughs> but still. What is that? Oh, the toad? Mushroom. <laughs> the heck is this? Look at the straw! <laughs> Look at this! All right, so this tastes like butterscotch. I don't taste no alcohol, so it could be dangerous. It does not taste like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter's butterbeer. That's for sure. It's still good. I'm scared. I don't know what's gonna come of this. I had a whole thing of mead. I'm scared. I'm really scared. 
We'll find out later tonight on the next episode. I, I didn't order another one. I'm just walking back for cinematic effect. They're playing, they're playing Harry Potter music over there. <laughs> what the heck? You taste the butterscotch too, right? Yeah, but it's definitely not like the Wizarding World, and I don't taste the alcohol either. Fiona approved. It is approved. I like this. Fiona approved. Not five stars, all right. Four. Four? Yeah, you get a four. They finally found fish and chips hidden behind the sea devil. So you can buy this for five dollars at the beginning of the festival, and it tells you all of the food in different like shops around here, as well as the map. So don't be like us and wait till the very end to get one. Like get it so you can study it and know where everything is. Blasphemy. That was the king talking to us. He was letting us know we're sitting in the royal section. We're literally like perfect center and we get to root for any of the teams that we want. And you know who we're rooting for? The winner. <laughs> Couple of course. The winner. Too much meat. I feel like I'm gonna face plant like I'm Family Guy. <laughs> Got second place? Well, the, his squire like helped tag team him. So does it really count? No. He couldn't do it on his own. No, no, it, that doesn't count. He had to have help to take yep. him down. No. I'll make this. 
It's still really soft. The chocolate's not hardened. Oh, so it's fresh. Like you dipped it and they served it to you. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you got to let it harden just a little bit. Yeah. Is it um, creamy like it's... Yes. Oh. Careful. Oh, my God. All your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it. It's good? Very good. Very fresh. Did you want to take a bite? Oh, yeah. Like you said, it's still it's still wet, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. And it looks pretty good. For a festival, it's pretty impressive, actually. It's okay, it's pretty good. By request of Aaliyah, we got the churros. That got me, like I was like, So Aaliyah didn't want ice cream. We asked for Nutella and whipped cream, but they didn't give us whipped cream, so. And I really don't no, care. We got so. the double shot, so like literally it was just booze, non-stop. She poured a shot in at the bottom, and then I got the bottle. It was it was less. Food. It's like my favorite. When I used to work at Starbucks, okay. it's like all I used to drink. So it's kind of um, stale. So it has been sitting out for a minute and just kind of reheated again. You can tell because it's very crunchy. The rubber, the rubber it's chewy. It's a little rectangle. And stale. It's a little rectangle. I'm just gonna give it. I'm just gonna say it's a fluke because you know it's day one out here and they're probably overwhelmed. So this is opening day. I don't know if we mentioned that it's opening day. So yeah, I'm gonna give him that. I think that's that's what happened. It's a fluke. That's all it is. It's a fluke. They're over there. It's like four bucks. Four bucks a piece. Is it that hard to eat? We were joking around about waffles on a stick because you know Shrek, Fiona, those in boots. <laughs> um, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. It's always been a real thing, or you were just joking? No, it's a real thing. You're losing. <laughs> you just lost your banana. Way better than churros. Four out of five. Easy. Mm. And it's you warm. can get two different flavors. Mm -hmm. The batter is just nicely done. Me personally, I like a little bit of salt in my batter. It just gives it that little savoriness. With the Nutella on top, the crushed almonds and the powdered sugar and the bananas. I think that's mm. like a perfect... I still want that egg. <laughs> Even though we didn't talk about it, but it, it came back to my mind. I still want that egg. This is good. It's a good little pick-me-up. $10 Before for two? We leave, the egg. Uh, not too bad. A soft, a soft Neapolitan bunny. A cat would pick that out, ironically. <laughs> Look, there's the horse stables for the jousting, right there. We're at Odin's table. Unfortunately, we didn't do the wine tasting because I mean, we, this is our only day here, right? We want to check out as much as we can and just give it to you guys and see, let you experience what we experienced. Well, anyway, Brianna got a bottle of uh, cotton candy wine and this was free, right? He gave that to you. He gave this to me for free. It's their special meat that they make here in Galveston, Texas. And this meat is different from the other meats that I've had. Well, the only meats I've ever had was today, right? And I've had like, a whole bottle and then another cup somewhere else. Anyway, that's besides the point, don't judge me. This meat is different. It reminds me of whiskey where it has that sharp, dark and robust flavors in the beginning. And in the end, it just hits you with honey, but very subtle, it's not sweet at all. I wanna say nine out of 10. I don't wanna say 10 out of 10. Maybe throughout the day, it might change to 10 out of 10. I'm gonna say nine out of 10 for now. This is actually well done. This is good, good, well done, well done. Customer service was a 10 Customer out of service, 10. 10 out of 10. They so, were so amazing. And this is free. I'm not going to turn on a free drink. Look at this cup. Thank you guys. All right, guys, that is it for the Renaissance Festival here in Todd Mission, Texas. I think it was a really good turnout. I think we all can agree this is a must see. First time here, everyone is so welcoming. 
and everyone's just here having fun. Everyone's dressed up in their own themes. Obviously, we dressed up for the first time. This is new to us. Yes, there's so many. There was a total of four furries I've seen. There's Zenitsu. There was One Piece. There's like Ash Ketchum. Yeah, and this morning we saw Hagrid. We saw Professor McGonagall. So you can come and just be yourself. Whoever you, you know, love and want to dress up as, this is your place. And the food, we tried a little bit of everything. Some hits, some misses, but overall the experience is unmatched. This is amazing. Yes, it deserves the badge of honor. <laughs> this was awesome. We literally came out of our comfort zone to wear authentic clothing. But this was awesome, this was really good. The food was good. The atmosphere was great. People were freaking nice and kind. The mead was delicious. Did I say the mead was delicious? The mead was delicious. There wasn't any type of food in particular that stood out to us, right? Am I? No. Nothing no. really stood out in particular to us. I wanted to try that scotch egg, but they sold out. So that was our fault because we wanted to venture out. But I mean, the trade-offs, right? We got to see everything else and we just missed out on the egg. Maybe next time. But overall, customer service was amazing. The people, the shows. This event in particular, I say 10 out of 10. This is the largest Renaissance Fair in all of North America. It has to be the best. No, the largest, the best. Come on now. Texas, again. So, thank you guys for watching. This was awesome. I would definitely do it again. And I'm going to try my best to come back here next year. So, if you guys liked it, let me know. Let me know what you didn't like. And um, stay off my swamp. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. All right, bye. 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 This is now the standard for any Renaissance Fair that we ever attend from here on out. So every Renaissance Fair out there, coming for you.